There's good players, there's bad players. As long as it's the glory of the game, sir, as they say, it's for the glory of the game. Some of the names that are used for the players, like the behind is the catcher and the hurler is the pitcher, and a player is called a hand, or whatever. So there's a whole different nomenclature that goes with it. We try to use it. Ted, Doc, Yem. Ryan, Riverat, Nelson. Rick, Stingray. Now, you might pick your own nickname, but as soon as you screw up and do something, you're going to get one that's going to stick. Chris Cajun Detro. Jeremy Frenchy Dupre. Mean Dean Conaway. Shutterbug Gore. Oh, well, let's check out. Frank Pigleg Frederick. Brad Chatterbox Waller. My fiance plays, and we're getting married on the 19th of this month. And in July, we're going to get married again. The team, we're going to get married on the field again, in costume. Boyfriend plays, so I go with him anywhere. Steven Slappy McGee. Mike Rosie behind Bricker. Wall Street Journal is doing a article on the game, and they took a picture of me playing behind, and they did a drawing of that picture for the front of the Wall Street Journal. Kevin That's Ivy Killer Wilmot. <laughs> Deborah Little Egypt Reed. I love camaraderie and sportsmanship of the game more than I like the competitive aspects of it. Finish baseball offers that. These matches between the visiting St. Louis Perfectos <laughs> and the Rock Spring Ground Squall. Oh, oh physical nice activity. Player. Being a, really being one with the ball, right? No gloves, and you're out there with no protection. And those balls can fly. It's just, it's exciting. And and I. I don't know, I guess I like to play with guys. Keeps me young. <laughs> trip in 92 to Columbus, Ohio, and none of us really had any idea what uh, what the game was. We never heard of it, let alone played it. And we enjoyed it so much, we came back here and started having some pickup games. And then the two years later, we became an official team, and we've been going ever since 1994. My job is to be the scorekeeper, mostly, and uh, harass the team when they're playing. As soon as uh, the, uh, the gentleman scores and the lady scores, she asks permission for the tally keeper to mark the score. May I tell you an ace, man? Yes, you may, sir. For the glory of the Rock Springs ground squirrel. Uh, to be honest, in the 1860s, I would not have been here. I would have only been sitting over watching, cheering my husband, son, boyfriend, whatever, on because women didn't do things like that. Women didn't get involved. I really like the gentlemanliness of it, you know, no cussing, spitting, or other conduct to offend the lady. Um, it makes the game much more pleasurable to play and watch, which is the main thing for us. Catching the ball on the fly or catching it on the first bounce is an out. Uh, it's more manly to catch it on the fly but it's easier on your fingers if you catch it on balance. Yes, sir. Anything can happen. Crackers, man. Sign is reach I heard. Find yourself lots of time doing this. And <laughs> and, and getting used to the fact that uh, one bounce is an out. That's also hard, for, especially for new people, it's hard to get used to, uh, both when they're batting and when they're in the field. Uh, in the 1858 rules, you can't overrun first base, and you don't steal bases either. Well done, sir. Well done, sir. Chemistry on my Most of these clubs have been formed by museum groups or 
park districts, conservation districts, and so forth. As part of the Living History Program, and that's what we are for the Macon County Conservation District, we're an educational program of that organization. If you notice, you hear the word huzzah a lot. Well, it's not just in the movies, the old, old movies, but they get into it. Three cheers for the grass roll. Zip it. Huzzah! 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 Enjoy, buddy. Enjoy. Dude, it's always pleasure. I do, dude.